Hey guys, I'm Lenny, and today I've got sad and good news, I guess. Um, I've grinded my way through, well, I think I'm almost at the skeleton level. Yeah, I, I've unlocked skeletons quite a while ago, actually. Um, <laughs> and I've been getting, oh, oh, um, why is she keeping these in here? Oh my god. Well, it doesn't really matter at this point, but okay. Um, I don't know if she, yeah, she probably has no clue how helpers work, but I wanted to show off uh, how many. And well, let's let's wait for them to uh, go through the hoppers. Yeah, I'm making an unit mushrooms finally. Um, I had to tweak the system, so I had to add a lot more collection chests. So. And it cost me a lot of money. Um, like let's let's recount, yeah. Um, let's say that I bought all the stuff by myself, upgraded it by myself. That's a 80 million auto planter. Well, 82 million if you buy the auto planter yourself. Maybe it can be bought lower or higher. I don't know. Let's say two mil for that one. Well, 82 total. Let's go. Let's say this one will be maxed out like that one. So that's 164, plus I've got 10 collection chests, which I bought quite a few of them fairly expensive, like 2.5 mil. That's extra 25 mil, that's let's say 189 mil. So plus hoppers, plus redstone, plus work. Let's go with 200 million just for this farm. And we're making like 5 million per day in undead mushrooms. And that's not even counting that uh, you need zombies on your island. You need enough you know, spawners. You need, uh, I think, I don't know what how much the first one cost, but the second one was 10 mil, I think. So that's more than 200 mil invested just to get to this point <clears throat> and you're getting back five mil or so per day so that's gonna take like 40 days to get this amount of stuff back well make up for the money loss right is, is am i am i correct am i missing something like a trick to sell them much better um, I think Bambucha has been selling them, so she's got the pirate origin. We don't have a merchant pad, we don't have anything like that that, would, that was too expensive to us. So, and if I go to the lobby, well, I could just use a command, but never mind. Um, the map has been up for 43 days. So, how? The fuck is this supposed to work? Like this whole game, this map is all about grind, 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 but you cannot really make enough money from just the grind to keep up with other people. And the reason is they buy loot boxes. And even if they didn't buy loot, no, I think the loot boxes are the culprit here. Where well, my beef is uh, with the server admins or with the people who lead the who are in charge of the server that there's another map reset and this one is like, like super quick uh, it's 43 days in and they are resetting the map bef before Christmas so I understand that they don't really care uh, about the gameplay as much about them as much as about the money I get it uh, they can smell the money I can yeah that's that's yeah, I know, <laughs> but still, um, I'd expect more gameplay out of this. Like, I mean, I I did play quite a lot. I didn't play like 24/7, but I still grinded a lot. Everything you see was just a lot of work for me. I could get much further if I had rank five from the beginning, but let's let's skip that. And I could get much further if I wasn't invested into the Alliance Island as well. Uh, maybe if this was my, well, if my island was used as a 
as an alliance island that might be better but still even our alliance island isn't that far ahead I know we didn't play much I know we had some trouble early on but the progression is still fairly slow I feel like this should be done like in the first month or so maybe even sooner I can imagine that uh, um, the more stable teams playing on the server got this fairly fairly early and I just don't understand well I just hate that they reset the map again like last time they promised yeah let's let's keep the map going for longer and we're trying to fix the economy we're trying not to fuck it up again and they fucked it up again how the f Jesus Christ they promised that we are gonna be able to play for longer than the last map and then they just kept giving out loot boxes like crazy why did they give out the loot box on last Monday when they knew that there's gonna be a reset in two weeks just why that's just so and nobody's nobody's trying to say that on the forums nobody's angry about that like you make people pay for stuff in the game while you know that you're gonna reset the map and you're gonna take all of that stuff away from them and nobody's angry why I didn't buy anything and I'm angry well not angry but I'm like what the fuck guys what, what are you doing hmm let's see some other island I feel like they are just oh yeah TP sorry I feel like they just um, watch the numbers of players and and they watch the income and that's kind of when well based on what based on that they decide when to reset the map I guess I don't think they actually watch the progression in the game like I don't know how many players are in the game total but if there were like I think the last map had like 5k players at one point so how many unique players that is throughout the whole day 10k 20k I have no clue but so few people actually got to the to the demonic um, I don't see the stats for like island levels and such I don't see the stats for unlocked custom recipes but that can be queried on the database for the game so they have access to stats about the server and my bet will be that most people didn't make it to the mid game and by mid game I mean recipes wise skills wise and such or island skills wise I'd say that some of the more active people got to the netherboard stage perhaps but yeah feels really disappointing and I don't see the purpose of like for me as a player I need to be well I was fairly invested into the game so I did play a lot and right now I feel exhausted by all the grind and I didn't feel like I had fun I don't feel like I could I had fun with the stuff that I grinded for I feel like that I grinded for the automation stuff that's not really making me money so I only spent money on it and before it would even be able to before it would start making money for me the maps gonna get reset and that's I don't know that's stupid like really they made these bigger like 4x4 four four. yeah they, they used to be much smaller and they made them bigger because their members needed more space I guess that's logical because they were real, really small and I like the color coding and I like the use of glass although you can snoop um, you can see your neighbors and kind of watch them in their private rooms yeah doing private stuff never mind <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah 
so yeah, uh, what's new on the map? Um, let's check it out on the forums. Alt tab, quick alt tab. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but I'll start talking later. Okay, so so they they said okay the the map's been the shortest. That's awesome. Um, I don't know why didn't they explain why they are resetting the map. That's something I didn't find anywhere. Like oh hey we messed up again. Why this is why we are resetting the map. No, they're like who cares? We are resetting the map. <laughs> we got enough money for now, and we need to reset the map so more and more people will come in. And we can we can milk them again. That's what I'm getting out of that. There's gonna be 50 island levels now, and your island level will be gained with EXP earned on the island. So grinding on the island will finally make sense. That's nice. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I guess this guy likes his melons. And he probably cooks them, and he probably makes a juice out of them, and an ice cream somewhere around here, definitely, yeah. Well, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind a melon ice cream right now, kill pet. That's rough. And he's got two holes in here. Ah, there you go. Wow, that's just, that one block missing, yeah. Mm. <coughs> nope. Um, they are... Adding 99 player levels with 5 unique player roles Miner, Farmer, Blacksmith, Enchanter, Warrior Island Origins will be refocused as Player Origins What does that mean? Like, would you mind explaining further? Like, is it so hard to go... Like, more details, please? <laughs> player ranks Player rank kids will be based on player level, not island level. Oh yeah, I think I think I have got my rank kit, which is just useless right now. But okay. Uh, can I get to Trambos Island? Can I fly out of here somehow? No, I don't think so. I'd like to see this island, but I don't think I can get out of the like spawn area or warp area um, maybe they forgot some doors nah dude why are you mining it, the map's gonna reset anyway <laughs> let's go back see if I can go I don't think I can go through there nah and I'm kind of bugged into the roof. Yeah, I'll, I won't be able to see much, much here. Uh, some of the teams progressed real fast and they got real far. But for the rest of us, it feels like, yeah, we were just left behind. And I don't feel like I had fun on the map. And throughout this, this whole time, there are skyblocks that don't reset as often. There are skyblocks that don't reset at all. But also they don't have as many custom plugins like this one, yeah? So... That's why this one is kind of popular. Although like Hypixel Skyblock has the biggest population of... Yeah, like... like yeah. Since I started playing here, um, they maintain just crazy amount of players. <sighs> oh, okay, let's go with... Um, 99 player levels Can I actually check out more IS top Islands Okay, IS warp Alekazo Kalzo Okay, this guy I also posted a suggestion that you should be able to toggle your flight so you no longer have to type in fly every time you teleport to someone's island because it's so annoying I'd like to get outside but I don't think I'll be able to, yeah 
but at least you can I don't think this island had a public warp for a long time so I'm happy that I could finally teleport here although again it seems like a work in progress like on other islands but I I'm pretty sure that some of these guys are just really far ahead and I'd like to see their islands any random player can I fly out? I hate these boxes um, I think you can teleport yeah TNT baseball and I should be able to get down somehow huh, they closed it I remember that I used to be able to fly around the island and I don't think I'll be able to now yeah yeah this place is just here I'm pretty sure yeah I was flying around this island I could see all their spawners and such but not any now nah, that's <laughs> that's the same spot <laughs> okay not anymore Maybe I can find another way out. Not like that. Any hole in here? No, I don't think so. Well, I guess you can go back to my my island. So so far, I've got some diamonds. I've got rabbit farmer stew. I got. A burnt smoked beef. I got undead mushrooms. Let's check out the amount. That amount per day and a half, I guess. I can open my useless rank kit. <sighs> Not like it matters. I barely got a work. I barely got any gear that I can use in Demonic. Well, like in the last video I finally got my diamond boots for Demonic. So yeah, now the map is ending so <laughs> I'm not even gonna go to Demonic anymore because just why? Why would anyone play if they said that the map is gonna end? I mean, they could just shorten the time and say okay, we are gonna reset in well, tomorrow. Bye bye. Enjoy. Um, yeah. Um, what else? Um, so there's gonna be like five unique player roles, and they're gonna have their custom skill trees. Okay, so I cannot be all in one. I have to decide which one I'm gonna go for. Is that it? So someone like me is gonna be pretty unhappy, maybe, about it. Because I'm fulfilling like all the roles. Does that mean that people who play solo and I know a lot of people that like to play solo because they don't want to deal with any other person on their island. They don't want to deal with drama. They don't want to deal with um, other person just going through their chests. So does that mean that they're going to be handicapped by that change? I don't know, the, the forum post is just, yeah, just bare, um, just the bare minimum and that's it, There, there's no detail in it and I'm pretty sure that uh, the way I work, like the way I make money, we do write posts like that about stuff and <laughs> I wouldn't be uh, able to keep the detail to such a minimum and get away with it just yeah that wouldn't ever happen you need to inform people like you need to tell the people that are paying you for some stuff like players do right what you're gonna do what you're changing and well maybe I'm just different <laughs> Uh, all right, island origins will be refocused, refocused as player origins. Okay, so there's more detail, more, more, more emphasis put on the 
player progression, I guess. Because right now you only have like skills and that's it. And that's pretty much like pay to win. Um, because you need rank 5 to unlock all of them and then you need a lot of money to unlock all the skills with player skill tokens because with rank 5 bought from the shop you only get 6 player skill tokens I believe so you can only buy um, skills from one of the trees I hope they don't reset skills in here I hope this is still gonna be a thing I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be a thing because of the changes, but I'm not sure. They are not explaining that in any detail. Playing together. Um, you won't be required to have your own island and will be able to play with friends fully cooperatively on, on one island. So, Bambucha won't have to have the, her own island. But that's kind of logical because her kit is gonna be based on her player level, not her island level, so there's no need for her own island. It's not like she likes building such stuff. I think she's just afraid to build stuff. Because she's always like, I, I wanna do something, and then she breaks half of my island accidentally. I, I need to teach her uh, how to be more comfortable. Yeah, I'm probably gonna focus on that on, on the next map. Um, I let her let her do her own thing, like on the island, uh, like build her own little house or area or her own chests and such. Or she might be in charge of all my chests. From yeah, well, I'll figure it out. So playing together, I ask challenges. Challenges will be refocused refocused on as player challenges. Alan, okay. Okay. I don't really understand what that means. Because right now it feels like those are player challenges. Like, yeah, they are, they are kind of stupid, I guess, some of them, maybe. <laughs> Sorry for saying that. Okay, they're, they're probably going to remove stuff like unlock IS level place notes and such or but okay I mean challenges are really under underwhelming at least that's what I gathered from playing here for two maps already so I don't really care about those new adventure maps adventures are in a really good place right now no they are not in a really good place when I asked um, I asked about vexes in demonic and I've got a response from an admin um, that vexes are meant to make players mad and to make players not want to go for chests. So there's a someone <laughs> who felt like it's a good idea to develop or implement something around making players mad. Are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, there's probably gonna be people saying like okay that's uh, there's such a feature in this game and in this game and I cannot imagine that we will be implementing some stuff just to make the user mad why would you wanna do that I mean you can make it a little bit more annoying so players wouldn't progress so fast through the map so less people will, will be looting the chests you can make it more challenging that's probably the best way to do it right you make it more challenging so less people get to the chest and they would feel better about getting to the chest they wouldn't feel mad they wouldn't feel bad they wouldn't feel annoyed because those are the things that are gonna make your player base just go down and adventures had really low population uh, throughout the last I don't know month or so like I remember a lot of people in Demonic when uh, the grind was kind of still on, but there was like four people tops throughout the last week uh, in Demonic. There might be some big times that I missed that had more people in, but no. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a huge, a huge possibility to improve adventures but they feel 
pretty comfortable that making players mad is the way to go, so they are gonna introduce more adventure maps. And that's it, um, just new adventure maps. No information about if they're gonna be like lower level, higher level, same tier, but different loot. Um, they didn't talk about loot progression, so the only thing about loot progression that I know is that you're supposed to get more items from a chest after a certain amount of time, which which is weird, because I haven't seen much of that in Demonic. And, well, I'm not sure. I don't know how the, uh, how the mechanic is implemented. Maybe I got lucky or unlucky or... I did see a lot of like two drops, um, two items in one chest, but I feel like the loot progression should be much faster and it shouldn't be like, you shouldn't be getting melon seeds after two months of the game or the map being out. I, I feel pretty strongly about that and I don't think they care. I think they're just, they love the randomness in everything the gamble in everything, I guess. YouTubers, they've had a season off and now we're letting them back. No, you're not letting them back. You are paying them to go back, to come back. You are giving them free stuff to ensure that they are gonna be playing here, right? That's what you're trying to say. They didn't just leave. They didn't, they <laughs> just, yeah. Um, I don't think they're making as much money on videos on Cosmic as uh, as they can make on their own videos, on their own servers and doing their own stuff. So I feel like that's that's the main reason why they left. There might be other reasons, but I feel like that's, that's one of them because it's logical. If you can make more money elsewhere, you're gonna go elsewhere. It's not like you're tired or so. They're pretty used to doing stuff like that. So yeah, I feel like they, yeah, well, Okay, so the incentive is money, not like they're eager to come back. Um, and much, much more. Okay, you didn't really mention that much stuff. That's gonna change, but okay. Uh, there are a couple of areas where we've heard some very strong opinions and we are going to be putting these two polls for you. Should we decrease the maximum amount of players allowed in an alliance? I don't care at all. Should we decrease the maximum amount of players allowed on islands? Why do I care? I don't really care. Should we, should we implement ally and truce limits? Again, nobody really cares. Well, some of the endgame people, some of the top players probably care about this stuff because they can reach the limits. I don't. We don't. All the people that I played with, we didn't reach any of these limits. And we didn't care at all. So, are you making the map for the top players just to have fun and the rest is there just to feed in the rest like <sighs> um i feel bad i just i just feel bad like is there any more info uh, we need to bring it back to skyblock and have less focus on the pvp aspect most of the top players were crying about uh, the lack of PvP in adventures, so they cannot kill us, <laughs> pretty much. Like, and by us, I mean the scraps that actually try to um, get the gear without paying, to get through the map without paying. So yeah, I'm pretty happy that uh, they are not gonna focus on the PvP aspect, and that's pretty much pretty much it. I mean. There's not really a good explanation on why they are resetting the map. Like, they could at least pretend like, okay, we are sorry that we broke the economy with the Black Friday loot boxes. I mean, they keep breaking all their servers with their loot boxes, like Cosmic Prisons, Cosmic PvP, perhaps. I've only read about these. I didn't play them to experience how they break the economy, so I might be wrong, but yeah, I, I'd say that I'd believe that. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, they didn't really say why are they resetting the map. 
in such a short time. Yeah, they they did mention that it was the shortest map. And that's about it. That's about it. They don't really <sighs> Why? Just why? Right now I feel like I have grinded a lot and just I've got nothing to show for it. All this stuff you see doesn't matter at all. It didn't make me any significant amount of money. It's just money dump, money sink. I've put so much money into it that only the diamonds made me some money because of the diamond gems and that, that was my main money maker early game. Just rush the elite dwarf pickaxe, get the treasure hunter gear and mine diamonds and get gem hunter pets. Uh, maybe the Dwarven Mask is more important than the Treasure Hunter gear. The whole gem find system feels underwhelming at best. I feel like getting like a ton of gem hunter pets plus the Dwarven Mask and maybe the Treasure Hunter set is enough for a map. Maybe I'll go, I'll go for that for the next map. And I'll just ignore all my island progression because all this stuff all the time that I've put into it and the money that I've put into it I mean even the sugarcane barely paid itself I'm not sure that it did <laughs> I'm not really sure at this point I feel like I've just invested money and I got nothing significant back and I don't really understand the automation systems like the amount of money that I had to invest into that and like, the revenue I got from it just makes no sense. And am I doing something wrong? Should I be, I don't know, I don't know. Should I be pooping on the farm to make it grow faster? Should I, what the, just, uh, I'm really confused. Maybe I'm missing something important. I really feel like this whole thing is just made to push people into pain for loot boxes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> loot boxes, ranks. Maybe it's the same thing on other uh, other maps, like other other servers. I'll I'll try. Well, I did try a few already, like some of the biggest. Well, the biggest ones, all of them that I could find. I tried all of them. None of them are. Um, well, when it, goes, when it comes to custom plugins, none of them are close to this one. And I like the possibility to automate stuff, although it's not worth my time and my money right now. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. Maybe if like a ton of people pour, pour their money in... Nah, it's still... like it takes so long. Even if this was making double the money, like 10 mil per day, okay? It would again, it wouldn't take uh, like, what did I say before, like 40 days, it would take 20 days, it will take a work month. So in 20 days it would pay for itself and then it would finally start making enough money, but the map would end in another 20 days. So after all that time it will just double itself pretty much when it comes to money. That's not worth investing your time into it. Why? Just I need I need answers. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Just <laughs> even with the Slayer, it takes so long to grind through the stuff, and you need pretty good equipment, or you're spending double the time, triple triple the time, just to grind the same amount of mobs. <laughs> I'm I'm really disappointed that this map or this server is just about the money and not about the gameplay itself. Ah, oh, we missed the harvest. Well, yeah, we can actually see it. Um, is it? Why are these here? That's weird. Yeah. I think there's a problem with the hole in, in the middle, so it might not harvest all of them, perhaps. I don't know, do I care at this point? No, I don't. Um, I could fill up the hole, because there's no need for it. 
Oh yeah, the whole system uh, was built incorrectly. Forgot to mention that. I don't know if uh, if the builder or phantom builder fixed that, but one auto planter can service eight layers of farm. So it's one, two, three, four, five. You build it like that on the fifth layer. Well, that's the fourth. That's five, six, seven, eight, and that's just one auto planter, and the rest. Yeah, he didn't build it. Uh, it's gonna go even one layer above. So that was my mistake, and you only need one collection chest and three hoppers above it. Maybe even two hoppers are gonna be good enough. And that's it. The rest goes up here. So one auto planter needs five collection chests, one on the for the planter itself and four to collect the stuff, the nether ward from the farm. Otherwise you're losing nether ward, which you don't want to be which you don't want to happen. Alright, um Um I'm done with this map. I'm not gonna be playing anymore. Well I might check on my alliance members. Well I can keep in touch with on with them on Discord. Um I won't be able to buy player skill tokens on the AH. I feel like I have just spent so much time on it and I got nothing back. It was just a grind and very unenjoyable grind. Especially with people well with admins being happy about demonic being annoying, making players mad. Just what the fuck is wrong with you? Seriously? Is that what you do? I feel like there should be challenge in that somewhere, not madness and being annoying. Maybe I'm different generation. Maybe I'm from that generation that grew up on games where you actually needed to have some skill to beat the game. It wasn't like, oh, you're gonna beat the game for sure, we can help you, if you die, you can just respawn and such. No, if you die, you die. That's it. You need to restart the game. <laughs> and try again. And you're gonna die again. Games like NetHack, Dwarf Fortress, permadeath games. That's the stuff. I mean, of course, there are games that let you respawn and have lives and such, but... They definitely didn't ask for money like this one. <laughs> Especially if it's a game built on a game that you need to buy, but you need to spend... Well, you're, you're kind of pressured to spend even more money than the original game cost. Just Is this Electronic Arts and their DL DLCs? I don't see player skill tokens. I, I cannot really see them. I think they're bought out. Because more and more people... Well, the map reset was just announced, so... There you go. Uh, the economy is gonna go to fuck again, and it's not gonna unfuck. It's it's unfuck itself anytime soon. Yeah, so they made a lot of money on the Black Friday sale, and then they announced, "Oh, we are gonna reset the map." That's a dick move. Seriously, that's not what you do. Like, that's like a lot of saying that. You need to buy a special thing for Microsoft Windows that's gonna, I don't know, protect you from further things, but it's like a almost mandatory. You're incentivized to buy it. Let's, let's keep it like that. And then they're gonna say, okay, we are dropping the support for the current version of Windows. Screw all who bought the <laughs> thing. That's what I feel like what they did to people and I'm I'm really confused why nobody's crying out about that on the forums like they milked the money well they milked the people for so much money and they announced then they announce a map reset like are why are not people killing them throwing them out of the windows just what the fuck is wrong with people? Uh, maybe this community is kinda broken, maybe the whole community built around paying for unnecessary stuff for games that make you s that makes you stronger like it's in 
the same thing is in idle games if you know um, games where you just click a little bit and then you wait a lot but you can buy this little feature for like four million bucks <laughs> and well in real life bucks um, preferably and then the time is gonna go twice faster it's a idle game the, the, the time is not supposed to go twice faster there's not gonna be there's not supposed to be anything like that so you're paying to end the game sooner why would you pay for that anyway just I know that there's like a competition here kind of but if it's a competition of how much money you can spend compared to the other guy well Bambucha has been working on the treasure hunter helmet for me and she's gonna be really sad that I won't even use it because the map's gonna reset so she spent a lot of time in realms grinding and the map's gonna reset and she's gonna lose all the progress and I'll have to explain to her why the fuck we should play on this server anymore and right now I don't really know why I feel like the dev team doesn't listen to people admins well I don't think the dev team is reading the forums I think there's like a layer in between the dev team and that's that's admins perhaps or maybe there's some people in between as well well right now I feel like they're doing their own thing pretending to care about players I mean it's obvious they don't care they care about the money which is obvious but hmm well um, I'm open to suggestions on where should I play if there's a server that's worth playing I'm pretty laggy on Hypixel that's the only reason well one of the reasons that I don't play on Hypixel I like that the server has been running well the skyblock there has been running for quite a while now and I like that it's not pay to win that's what I really like about the server most of the other servers that I played on any any skyblock servers are just mostly pay to win I mean getting fly getting um, sell hand sell all commands like that you need to pay for that or you can grind for that like on PvP wars you can get that from the mob coin shop but that's fairly rare and you need to get lucky plus PvP wars that's like super laggy server and unstable and the people around it are though well, they feel like they are just kids messing around and I don't really trust that server although I do have an island well I do have an island on a lot of skyblocks and I still, still haven't found one that that will be nice this one has a lot of stuff that I like especially the automation although they made it so it's really uh, out of your reach and when you reach it you, you're you gonna lose it <laughs> like F you <laughs> You finally got your automation. Now we're gonna reset, reset the map, and bye bye. <laughs> uh, I'd like to end on a more positive note again, <laughs> which is not gonna happen. I, I feel like the the guys behind this server are just saying "fuck you" to everyone who paid for the Black Friday loot box. So many people bought those, and they're gonna reset the map like three weeks later huh that's interesting <laughs> no, 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 no. that's bad that's bad but from the point of sales perspective like marketing and such it's probably a good move because they can lure in more people especially with youtubers coming back in and I hate to see them back in because they're gonna get the five time five limit a five minute timers on their realms and such so they can break the economy even more they can sell stuff better and that's what I hated about them on map 4 I mean map 3 um, but yeah from the marketing perspective that's a good move for them they're gonna lure in more people before Christmas when that's when people have the most money that's when you can make the most money in pretty much every business that has to deal with uh, people be it sales, be it uh, rental, be it just just 
pretty much anything. Like uh, I have experience with uh, renting an apartment through Airbnb. I used to do that. Like, well, I do have some experience with that, and I do have some experience with um, other apart apartments like that. And you could make like triple or four times more money during Christmas compared to like January or February where people has have the less, less money, have the least amount of money on them and they are less willing to spend after the spending freeze, um, spending, spending free, I don't know, spending, <laughs> I'm lo yeah, never mind. Um, just spending so much money uh, so they are worried and they don't really want to spend as much money as during the Christmas season so the sales go a lot lower and your prices need to go a lot lower but throughout every single holiday like global holiday if you want to call that well well-known holidays uh, you can make a lot of money on people like crazy amount of money people are willing to spend so much freaking money they're like crazy they just want to spend the money because they've been saving the whole year and then they just want to spend the money they don't really think about it that much I guess I do I think about what I buy how how much it costs and if I can get any money back out of it and such yeah I'm just Let's end it here. So, I hate what they did. I hate that they didn't explain. They didn't even pretend that uh, they're doing this for the players. It's just straight up money making method for them. And I'd like to find a server where I could play for way longer time than just 40 days and then lose everything especially such a grind heavy server like this one there are servers where you're not pushed into anything like this and you can just play for a long long time maybe even modded server maybe i remember agrarian skies being a thing back in the day back in the day and it was fun maybe I don't know, but Babucha wouldn't be able to play with me because her notebook would probably blow up. Yeah, so that's that's why we started playing Skylog actually, because I needed something that's that her PC or laptop can handle. So modded Skyblog that requires like eight gigs of RAM. Yeah, that's not gonna be easy for her. I'll have to figure something out. For now, I'll be probably keeping her on the island just for the fun of it see how much how many hundred mushrooms I can make she's um, she flew to Budapest Budapest this uh, weekend with her friend so they're gonna be enjoying themselves drinking a lot of alcohol she doesn't drink much so that's gonna be fun <laughs> um, and hopefully when she comes back she can see some decent amount of money after selling these and then I'm probably gonna tell her, okay, um, see, the whole progress, we have achieved this map, yeah, reset. <laughs> and we haven't achieved much. I hate it, I hate that the map's gonna reset. I just hate that it's all about the money, not about the gameplay. Well, I need to get over it. Um, at least I finished a, finished strong this week in my my job so I'm happy about that and I'll see you when I see you maybe I'll do like a programming video soon-ish no premises I'd like to make a video about just the basic stuff for a Java web-based programming um, I've been asked about that by my cousin and a bunch of other people I don't feel like I'm the best person to show that because yeah 50k for mystery pet box amazing Mm. Yeah, but I can definitely make the tutorial. Um, with my job, we are way further ahead. Like, we are dealing with much deeper stuff. So I'm not sure if I can be as clear as other people uh, during a tutorial on programming. But I'll do my best, and 
although people will get confused because there's like a Minecraft video and then there's gonna be like a programming video. I don't really care because I'm just gonna link the video to my cousin and he's gonna tell me, wow, I don't really understand anything out of it, so yeah, F you. Um, <laughs> see you guys in the next one. And uh, if you know any good servers to play at, even like survival or just just different kind of experience um, that you th that that you think that I might feel good about, <laughs> um, send me a message. I'll be able to happy to try the the server out. I'll I'll try a few on my own. I'll I keep hopping through certain skyblocks on my own and. I'm just trying to check up on them, but so far I haven't found anything as much fun. Uh, this one is fun, but it's a super, super grind, and I hate that because it feels like I worked for nothing. I got nothing out of this. I got some basic automation that makes no money. Alright, um, see you guys. Bye-bye.